Hello everybody and today we'll be reviewing the Popo Great White Shark. Um excuse the ticking noise, my fan. It's really old and crickety. Uh but anyways. So Popo, if you don't already know, is a French company that makes um and figurines, animals and other things like that. Fantasy too. Their dinosaur line is highly sought after because they look like the ones that have appeared in Jurassic Park. But they are a young company compared to companies like Safari Limited, Schleich, and Collect Day. Maybe Collect Day is young, but I don't know. But anyways, their models are really good. They're very detailed, and that's what makes Papo so so popular because their animals are so detailed like the dinosaurs how many how detailed they are but the other animals they're just as detailed now you may be thinking of oh, this shark is not that detailed because it looks very simple but a shark in real life is very simple like this so let's get on with the review first starting off with the head of the popo great white shark now first starting with the head there's a big seam down the mouth that looks um, a little weird, but still a nice head. The nose is really nice, just like a real great white shark should. The eyes are where it should be, and it doesn't look too ferocious or too normal, like the Safari Limited one. In my opinion, that one sure deserved a repaint. It didn't really look like a real great white shark, but moving on. The, there are five gills, just like a real great white shark is supposed to have. It has a nice silver gray color. No, it's more like, uh, the coloring on this is more like, a uh, gray, gray mixed with a blue green, which is a really nice color. The dorsal fin is very accurate. The pectoral fins are really good. And the second dorsal fin is really good. The cardio fin is good, but it's covered up with tags. Um, the the anal fin's good, and the pelvic fin's good. The only complaint I have with this is the claspers aren't attached to the pelvic fins, which a lot of other shark companies have mastered, but Popum hasn't. I'm not sure why. Maybe they could just um, fix this, but. Anyways, let's move on with the other side of the head. It has a very nice touch. This one, this side looks more bulky, probably because the shark's turning. But nice shark. The five gills, just like they're supposed to be. The pectoral fins are the same, very accurate. The dorsal fins, very accurate. The second dorsal fin, very accurate. The caudal fin is accurate too. The anal. And the pelvic fins are set that the claspers are supposed to be attached. But anyways, it is a good model. Now, I'm going to have some nitpicks on how it was shipped. I bought it from Amazon from the seller, the Jungle Store. It was $7.99 plus free shipping. And the shipping was five days. And the shipping was free. So I bought it. But when it came, it was badly packaged. Who's packaged in those yellow package bags? And I was so scared when I opened it that it was going to be warped, but it wasn't. So I, I was like, thank God. But there are some problems that they should have done to pretend, to prevent it. Number one is there's this big, big scratch right here that looks very bad very bad. I'm thinking of calling a painter of repainting it because I don't want to root. And there are like these two spots. I've washed them guys. Trust me, I'm not lying. I've washed them. I've put them in the bath. I've tried to wash them in the bath with soap. Every kind of remedy, they don't want to come off, which is pretty dumb. There's a part of the fin missing, just like a little peck, which really looks, which really is sloppy and there's this, like this white ring and you I actually found out it was stuck on toilet paper um, but so that's really bad shipping so jungle store 
improve your shipping so I don't have to have shark toys like this that are ruined before I even get them. It's, I mean, it's not ruined, but it's still... They could have done better with the packaging. That is just cheap. And then off the nose, it looks like somebody just repainted it. I don't know if you can see that, but there is like a different color of white right there. It looks like somebody just taped it up. And there's supposed to be like some some shadings right there that I was really excited for. A detail that not a lot of sharks would have. But mine didn't come with it. It's, it was probably rubbed off from shipping or in the factory. But most of the... Well, but most of the fault is to the jungle store, so pack your stuff um, better to the jungle store. I would pay a few more dollars for shipping if it, if it didn't come in a bag. I was waiting all day for it to come in a box, but it didn't. So that's really bad. Don't ever ship stuff like this in, in little bags like that. The fins could have got warped, so that's very bad, like I already said. So I'll see you. So I'll see you next time, the jungle store, when you start making better packaging. Then I'll order more. But anyways, guys, this Papu shark without all the things, if the jungle store would have packed it all great in a box and maybe with some protection, um, would receive a five star. I'll give mine a five star. Uh, because if it was perf, if it was perf without all those little things that I pointed out, it would be good. But the jungle store just didn't pack it right. So um, this is how my great white shark came out, and that's all thanks to the jungle store. So please like and subscribe if you like this video. Please comment and share what is your favorite shark and why using hashtag um, sharks. And I'll see you next time.